Hey, this is Rob from Daily SNA, and this is for December 9th, 2009. And this is a story about Boxy. Well, Boxy we've done before, but uh, yesterday they had an event in Brooklyn, and we went to it. So here you can see the uh, T-shirt I got. Thank you very much for my nephew. He, he actually was the one to get the T-shirt. He handed it over to me. I thought that was real cool. Anyway, um... So the event was like any other event, except for for some reason it like got so much attention. So we decided to go also. Now, if you don't remember Boxy, you can go back to our shows of the past on Boxy. But Boxy collects videos and um, music also from uh, websites all over the you know like Netflix and um, Comedy Central and Pandora. Uh, also, on I think I'm uh, missing oh, MLB uh, TV. That I, I get some of my stuff from there. So, and it collects it all for you, and it puts it into a directory that's easy to get with a remote. And it actually works with the remote uh, that comes with the Apple. So it's real cool. Um, it is still. It was alpha up until last night. It's now officially beta, and it will be in beta for, I think they said, a month. So this is the uh, story about what came out of that show. It was very interesting. Well, up until now, Boxy has only worked on, like, PCs or Macs, and uh, mostly Macs, I I heard last night. Um, Some people actually have gotten it to work on other devices, especially the Apple TV. Um, but now what we're looking at is an opening to, of the door to um, TV in general. So let me go over some of the things that they announced last night. Well, one of the first things that they came out with is the beta of the new software. And it is an improvement that I can see from a quick view. I haven't had it to play with yet. But... Um, it looks like it's it, it's made it a little bit easier for people to get around. Uh, it's still not Apple-like. I wouldn't say that is as easy as working with one of the Apple softwares, but it's damn close. Uh, it's got um, but, uh, naming conventions that just don't work for me. Uh, I, I want things to emulate TV and that would be real good like for instance they do have apps but maybe they can call them something else that kind of relates to a TV and they do have browsing and so on and so forth I expect this to open on a browser page right away I don't want it to open on it I don't want there to be a choice I want it to be very simple and I don't want it to be for the technically sa- uh, sound I want it to be for just everyone right it also has um, global menus and shortcuts and, uh, again, things that run a little bit deeper than the average person wants to use it. They want to use it like a remote. And I know remotes are getting more complicated everywhere, but I don't think it's really working for anyone. But the, uh, the layout seems to be better. You open it up to a, a front page that has photos, music, movies, home, TV shows, apps, and files. In that order. Wrong order. <laughs> you know, it should be either TV or movies first, um, photos last, apps last, or, you know, in the back. I mean, it should be so that I get my movies first. I actually should just open up to movies and that would be, make everyone a lot happier that I have to teach how to use it. And if I have to teach, it's not going to work. So that is uh, my thing. But having said that, at least they're all in one page. You can always access that page uh, very easily and get to wherever you want to go. All right. Um, it has a library function, and it has my uh, my savings. I don't know how much people save their t- favorite television, and I haven't seen that too much anywhere out there. But for the technically sound, that's what they wanted, and that's what they got. But it is a much clearer base uh, system than what I previously used. Now, finally. And um, this goes without saying, I did not cover the uh, smaller apps that were um, were given, though I like them very much and uh, I might go into them at a later time. But 
the most important thing for us is the box the boxy box they call it anyway it is the thing that connects um, boxy with your television and it, it technically is a, a marvel and uh, um, but it is not out yet so I can't review it I don't know what it's going to be like it is going to be released at CES later um, oh in the beginning of January but um, what it essentially does is it connects your TV to the internet so that you can get all these uh, internet shows uh, there are couple of boxes out there Roku being one Apple TV uh, there's uh, it's the range is widening obviously it's not what we want but it's the best deal we can get because um, it would be nice if it just came in um, the cable box or the television so it's just not another device to have on there but we don't have that choice right now right now this is an interesting design um and it's very functional as it looks right now so here we go we can take what we got and we we like on the internet and we can put it on our television very easily after a january and it will come with a remote feature that boxy comes with and it'll get you everything not just what you get from your cable company so uh, there's a, a couple of things missing. I, I still would like to have some sort of iTunes uh, integration. That might be Apple's fault, uh, not be their fault, but it, it is annoying. Um, I would love to uh, have Hulu back. It used to be a great feature of Boxy, and now they, Hulu decided that it wasn't uh, in their favor to do that, so that's gone. Or I would like to have some relationships with some of the big companies so that you can just put it right in there, make purchases, and so on and so forth. Having said that, this is the next step towards integrating your computer with your TV. That's what we want. We don't want to think about a computer. We just want to change channels. And this was Rob from Daily SNA. And thank you very much.